People have asked me to rant about the Sonic the Hedgehog fan base, and I like Sonic the Hedgehog, so chances are there is going to be a bad fan base within it, within any video game or movie or whatever that I like. But anyways, onto that. Um, now I've seen before before I, I I found something that truly disturbed me about about some Sonic fans that weren't weren't, weren't really enough for me to rant about like. You know, just just certain fans not knowing what they want. That's the only stuff I've seen before I'm I'm gonna talk about what I just noticed so far. The first thing I'm gonna talk about is the the classic Sonic the Hedgehog fanboys. Yo, know, fanboys of the original games that complain so much about the new design of Son of the Sonic the Hedgehog character. Now, if you ask me, if you were to ask me, do I like the the new Sonic design? I love it. I love the new Sonic, the modern Sonic design. I, I, I think it's actually a little bit better looking than, than the old design. The old design looked like a little kid. But anyways, that's beside the point. Um, there are people that, that that just hate on all the all of the new Sonic games and just and just are snobs about the original ones. Now I I cannot stand these kind of people. Okay, I cannot stand certain fans of anything in general, like whether it be when it, when it came to like it's kind of related to like music there's there's so much snobs about classic music that they hate the new stuff that's how i basically compare these two <sighs> listen i know there's a lot of bad sonic games that were created in the modern and modern era like sonic 06 which for me personally is a guilty pleasure like i know the game is bad but for some reason i still enjoy it but anyways besides that there's a lot of other bad Sonic games, you know, like like Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric. That game is very, very bad. But hating on the entirety of modern of modern Sonic is just stupid. And only liking the the cla the classic Sonic games. Listen, even though there's a lot of bad Sonic games today, there's still a lot of really good Sonic games out there right now. Like, for example, I've I've heard that um I've heard a lot of good stuff about Sonic Generations, and I've recently been playing Sonic Mania. I haven't streamed in a long time because it's making me angry with the hardness. But, anyways, you get my point. And games like Sonic Unleashed, okay? I don't know how good that game has been reviewed, but I personally really like that game. I think Sonic Unleashed is a really fun game. But anyways, this doesn't sound too ranty, does it? But anyways, yeah. It doesn't sound too ranty right now, I know, but... That's because we haven't gotten to the to the true the truly like really bad stuff that I'm gonna talk about. And that truly bad stuff, if you ask me, is the perverted fan art that is being made by some fans. Now, do you guys remember when I ranted about the fan base of that cartoon show on Nickelodeon called The Loud House? For making that weird perverted pedophilia fan art? It's kind of the same case with the Sonic the Hedgehog fans. I guarantee the, these these particular fans are making this fan art right here are around 40 to 50 years old. Make, I cannot stand it. Let me tell you something. I hate it with a passion when someone makes fan art of kid-friendly characters from any sort of form of media ever are made into this creepy, pornographic, perverted fan art. It makes me sick when people do that. Like, you know, the Son Amy fan art or all, all the other, like, couples fan art and stuff like that. I hate it when people are making fan art like that. When people are making fan art of, you know, kid-friendly characters from any form of media having sex. I hate that with a passion. I, I get some... These, these particular people are setting off so many possible pedophile alarms. You never these these particular people could be pedophiles. Sick people making sick fan art. Like there's a lot of bad stuff about the Sonic fan base as far as I've seen, but I only wanted to talk about those couple too because those two pretty much are the ones that stand out to me. Along with, you know, the fans not knowing what they want, but that's that's not really as bad as what I'm talking about with these particular two. The, the creepy, weird fan art and the nostalgia purists. I hate nostalgia purists so much.
but I don't hate him as much as people who make make this weird fan art. This this uh, I've I've seen I've actually seen some uh, some fan art, some Son Amy fan art in the past, and it's gross. It is absolutely disgusting. Like, <sighs> oh my god. I I. I, like I said, the, these particular the, these particular people that make this particular fan art are most likely a bunch of forty and fifty year old pedophiles. I've gone on a tirade about this, I know, for a very long time already, but it makes me sick. It's gross. Why make certain fan art like that? And the nostalgia purists, your your childhood does not exist anymore. Okay, let it go. The classic games were great games, okay, for their time, and they're still they're still they're still pretty they've still pretty much aged well today. But let go of the past, okay? Your childhood is over with. So, if either if you're a true Sonic fan, you would pretty much go with the modern times, and if you stop if you if you pretty much just stop. Then you're only a fan of the original games. You're not a fan of the entire Sonic franchise in general. <sighs> now I know why people have asked me to rant about this fan base. At first I didn't understand, but now I've gotten deeper into the details. Creepy, weird fan art and nostalgia purists. Two things I really hate in fandoms 